The original Bloom's taxonomy talked about knowledge comprehension, application and al analysis, evaluation and synthesis. And it was developed in the 1950s. And really the focus was on academic learning. The focus was on theory. With the emergence of vocationalism, where education... Anderson went about revisiting uh, the Bloom's taxonomy and rewording it so instead of having the noun of knowledge, we have the verb of remembering. And instead of the noun of comprehension, we have the verb of understanding and so on. What Anderson did was really to, to a, a more applied focus. And one of the things that's worthwhile asking yourself when you're doing lesson plans is what level on Bloom's taxonomy am I trying to get people to apply the knowledge or am I trying to get them to create new ideas from this knowledge? At the bottom level, Blue's taxonomy, the remembering, what we've got, a novice who's aware of the ideas but can't quite get them to work together, comprehensive whole. And so they're moving through these ideas of remembering and understanding and applying, but they're still at that point where they've got to think about what they're doing. Whereas as you become more expert, you move down towards this evaluating and creating. Another set of language that's used in this regard is uh, surface and deep learning. And fundamentally, surface learning refers to learning which is largely about memory. And the characteristics of a surface learner are that they focus on facts and they focus on the short term. One of the characteristics of surface learning is that you don't retain that learning for very long. Just a driving licence is an example of something that, you, that really encourages surface learning because it's rote memory. Whereas deep learning aims at understanding and people that, are, uh, that engage in deep learning will tend to try to focus on meaning rather than detail. They try to get an idea of the whole and the way that it goes together. And provided that's reinforced from time to time, deep learning is characterised by long-term memory. The other one that's quite useful in terms of setting up lesson plans is that notion of skills, knowledge and attitudes, which says that competency or the ability to do something is a combination of someone's technical skills, their understanding of the field, their knowledge, and their attitude towards the field. And that's another way of thinking about lesson plans as well. What am I trying to achieve in terms of skills? What am I trying to achieve in terms of knowledge? What am I trying to achieve in terms of attitude?